Hi guys. So I am about to continue reading the Word of God and I'm reading the King James Version. So grab your Bibles. Come on. <laughs> Let's read the Word of God together. I am in Numbers chapter 26. Now in the previous chapter, because of disobedience, of sin, disobedience to the commandment of the Lord and the boldness of some of the Israelites that came into the presence of the tabernacle of the congregation to commit their sin even before the priest. Mm. God sent a dirty, nasty plague to wipe out the children of Israel. But well, thanks be to Eleazar, who had a jealous spirit for the Lord. He appeased God, and that plague was stopped. So the children of Israel were preserved, even though there are so many of them that died with the plague. Something for us to think about, disobedience to God's word stimulates his anger and his anger yes man it is kindled Ooh, it produces death that's a terrible thing yes yes it is but i want to move on to numbers chapter 26 do you remember god's promise to abraham when he told him he took him and he said look up in the sky and look at the stars in the sky and number the stars and Abraham could not number the stars. And God told him that that's how his generation is going to be. At the time, Abraham did not even have one child and he was already old in age. <laughs> but God is a promise keeper because even though so many of the children of Israel are being destroyed, yet they are, they're multiplying. They're multiplying, and the generations of Israel is multiplying and getting larger. So, let's continue to read the Word of God, and let's see what Numbers chapter 26 has said. God is a promise keeper, and like Balaam told King Bela, God is not a man that he should lie, and he is not one that will not keep his promise yeah so he is a promise keeper his promise to Abraham is being kept all through these years all through the generations so numbers chapter 26 said and it came to pass after the plague that the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Eleazar the son of Aaron the priest saying take the sum of all the congregation of the children of Israel from 20 years old and upward throughout their father's house, all that are able to go to war in Israel. And Moses and Eleazar the priests spake with them in the plains of Moab by Jordan near Jericho, saying, Take the sum of the people from twenty years old and upward, as the Lord commanded Moses and the children of Israel, which went forth out of the land of Egypt. Reuben the eldest son of Israel, the children of Israel, Reuben, Hanak, of whom cometh the family of the Hanakites, of Palu, the family of the Paluites, of Hezron, the family of the Hezronites, of Carmi, the family of the Carmites. These are the families of the Reubenites, and they that were numbered of them were forty and three thousand and seven hundred and thirty. Mm. And the sons of Palu, Eliab, and the sons of Eliab, Nemuel, and Datan, and Abiram. This is that Datan and Abiram which were famous in the congregation, who strove against Moses and against Aaron in the company of Korah, when they strove against 
the Lord. And the earth opened up her mouth and swallowed them up together with Korah. When that, when that company died, what time the fire devoured 250 men, and they became a sign. Notwithstanding, the children of Korah died not. Mm. The sons of Simeon, after their families of Nemuel, the family of the Nemuelites of Jamin, the family of the Jamanites of Jashin, the family of the Jashinites of Zerah, the family of the Zerites of Shal, the family of the Shalites. These are the family of the Simeonites, 20 and 2,200. The children of God, after their families of Zephon, the family of the Zephonites, of Haggai, the family of the Haggites, of Shuni, the family of the Shunites, of Osni, the family of the Osnites, of Eri, the family of the Erites, of Erad, the family of the Eradites, of Areli, the family of the Arelites. <laughs> These are the families of the children of God, according to those that were numbered of them, 40,500. Mm. The sons of Judah were Ur and Onan, and Ur and Onan died in the land of Canaan. Mm -hmm. And the sons of Judah, after their families, were of Shelah, the family of the Shelanites, of Pharez, the family of the Pharezites, of Zira, the family of the Zarites, and the sons of Pharez were of Hezron, the family of the Hezronites, of Hamal, the family of the Hamalites. These are the families of Judah, according to those that were numbered of them threescore and sixteen thousand and five hundred of the sons of Isaac, Isaac Jar, after their families of Tola, the family of the Tolaites, of Pua, the family of the Punites, of Jashub, the family of the Jashubites, of Shimron, the family of the Shimronites. These are the families of Isaac Jar, according to those that were numbered of them, three score and four thousand and three Hundred mm. of the sons of Zebulun, after their families of Sered, the family of the Sardites, of Elon, the family of the Elanites, of Jaliel, the family of the Jalielites. These are the families of the Zebulonites, according to those that were numbered of them, three score thousand and 500. Mm. The sons of Joseph, after their families, were Manasseh and Ephraim. Of the sons of Manasseh of Machir, the family of the Machirites, and Machir begat Gilead. Of Gilead come the family of the Gileadites. These are the sons of Gilead of Jezer, the family of the Jezerites, of Helek, the family of the Helekites, and of Azriel, the family of the Azrielites, and of Shechem, the family of the Shechemites, and of Shemida, the family of the Shemidiites, and of Hefer, the family of the Heferites, and Zelophehad. The son of Hefer had no sons but daughters, and the names of the daughters were of the daughters of Zelophehad were Mela and Noah, Hogla, Milka, and Tirza. These are the families of Manasseh and those that were numbered of them fifty and two thousand and seven hundred. 
these are the sons of Ephraim after their families. And Shethela, Sheth the family of Shethalites, of Bichar, the family of Bajrites, of Tehan, the family of the Tehanites. And these are the sons of Shethela, of Iran, the family of the Iranites. These are the families of the sons of Ephraim, according to those that were numbered of them, thirty and two thousand and five hundred. These are the sons of Joseph after their families. The sons of Benjamin after their families of Bela, the family of Belaites, of Ashbel, the family of Ashbelites, of Ahiram, the family of Aharamites, of Shufam, the family of the Shufamites, of Hufam, the family of the Hufamites, and the sons of Bela were Ard and Naaman of Ard, the family of the Ardites, and of Naaman, the family of the Naamites. These are the sons of Benjamin after their families, and they that were numbered of them were forty and five thousand and six hundred. These are the sons of Dan after their families of Shuham, the family of the Shuhamites. These are the families of Dan after their families. All the families of the Shuhamites, according to those that were numbered of them, were threescore and four thousand and four hundred. Of the children of Asher, after their families, of Jimna, the family of the Jimnites, of Jeshu, the family of the Jeshuites, of Beriah, the family of the Berites, of the sons of Beriah of Heber, the family of the Heberites, of Malchiel, the family of the Malchielites, and the name of the daughter of Asher was Sarah. These are the families of the sons of Asher, according to those that were numbered of them who were fifty and three thousand and four hundred. Of the sons of Naphtali, after their families of Jashriel, the family of the Jashielites, of Guni, the family of the Gunites, of Jeshur, the family of the Jeshurites, of Shilam, the family of the Shilamites. These are the families of Naphtali, according to their families, and they that were numbered of them were forty and five thousand and four hundred. These were the numbers of the children of Israel, six hundred thousand and a thousand seven hundred and thirty. Hmm. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Unto these the land shall be divided for an inheritance according to the number of names. To many thou shalt give the more inheritance, and to few thou shalt give the less inheritance. To every one shall his inheritance be given according to those that were numbered of him. Notwithstanding, the land shall be divided by lot, according to the names of the tribes of their fathers, they shall inherit. Mm. According to the lot shall the possession thereof be divided between many and few. And these are they that were numbered of the Levites after their families of Gershon, the family of the Gershonites, of Korah, the family of the Kohathites, of Merari, the family of the Merarites. These are the families of the Levites, the family of the Libnites, the family of the Hebronites, the family of the Melites, the family of the Mushites, the family of the Korahites, and Kohath begat Amram. And the name of Amram's wife was Jashibed, the daughter of Levi, whom her mother bare to Levi in Egypt. And she bare unto Amram Aaron 
and Moses, and Miriam their sister. And unto Aaron was born Nadab, and Abihu, Eleazar, and Ephemar. And Nadab and Abihu died when they offered strange fire before the Lord. And those that were numbered of them were twenty and three thousand, all males from a month old and upward, for they were not numbered among the children of Israel, because there was no inheritance given them among the children of Israel. These are they that were numbered by Moses and Eleazar the priest, who numbered the children of Israel in the plains of Moab by Jordan near Jericho. But among these there was not a man of them whom Moses and Aaron the priest numbered when they numbered the children of Israel in the wilderness of Sinai. Mm. Mm. For the Lord had said of them, they shall surely die in the wilderness. And there was not left a man of them, save Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, and Joshua, the son of Nun. Mm. Thus ends the reading of Numbers chapter 26. So God has eliminated the old generation. Now he's starting with the new one. Hmm. Something to think about. But let's meditate on this word. And let the Holy Spirit minister to us what he wants us to know from this word. Stay blessed, everybody. Thank you for reading with me. I am moving on to Numbers chapter 27.